Hey everyone, so Douglas Murray recently had an interview and uh, he's just so good at what he does. He spent so much time in the region as a journalist, really getting to a, a real feel and experience for what's going on, what has been going on for years at this point. And so check out what he says when the topic of genocide uh, comes up because the host tries to skirt the question and, and, keep, and keep, keep moving on in the conversation and he will not let her move on until he clarifies the facts. Look at this. I'm going to play the entire clip because it's just so well done. Take a look. Um, I, I don't think that at all that what's happening in Gaza is genocide. I think it's an unbelievable uh, smear against Israel. I've covered that war as I've covered many others. It's... Don't you think it's a self-inflicted smear against Israel? No, I mean, uh, I was in Ukraine last year are the Ukrainians committing genocide? I ask you. What's that got to do with Israel? I ask you, there are many wars going on. Yeah. Is Ukraine committing genocide? No. Right. Is Russia committing genocide? Russia is committing a war of hostile aggression, for sure. Uh, although it's a, it's, it doesn't seem to be attempting to eradicate the Ukrainian population as a whole, which is, of course, what genocide is. Which is uh, what Israel seems to be doing with which the Palestinians. Is, which is not doing. I, mean, I know hang, that hang, you hang. work for Fox News. Hang, and hang, and hang, I was let, called let me... by Fox News some time back to talk about the genocide happening in South Africa. And I said, there is no genocide right. happening in South Africa. So I was surprised that Fox could then see well, I don't, the, what was happening in South Africa as genocide I, and yet I, I, what's I, happening I in Israel as... I don't speak for Fox. Um, but uh, the allegation of genocide against Israel, why would Israel be committing genocide in Gaza? Like, well, what would you describe it? It's a war, it's which I've seen up close. Okay. Uh, so, let, so let me just explain that. If you start a war, which is what Hamas did on the 7th of October, if you start a war, there are repercussions. There are repercussions to Russia for starting a war against Ukraine. Uh, Russia's lost a lot of troops. There are repercussions for Hamas for starting a war against Israel. So do you the think repercussion there are repercussions is, for an illegal occupation? What's the illegal occupation? Of Israel uh, against the Palestinians. Where? That is an illegal occupation. Where? It is a determined illegal occupation. Gaza? Of course, Gaza and the West Bank. Have what you been to Gaza? Yes, I have. Is it occupied by the Israelis? It's completely sealed off, as you know. That's by why who? They call it by the Israelis. And who? By the Israelis, by the US and whoever else supports and who else? the Israelis. Isn't that enough? No, tell me who else is allegedly sealing the Gaza. I, I'm saying that Israel is, what? Is, 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 has completely encircled Gaza. Nothing goes in, nothing goes Gaza out, as has. you know. Well, as you know, if you've been, Gaza also has a border with Egypt. Why do you not mention Egypt? Egypt has a stronger fence to fence in the people of Gaza Okay, so, it, so you does. agree that, that Gaza has been fenced off? No, it's, fence, it's fenced off, although you might note that there are more workers, until the 7th, allowed into Israel to work, and indeed to have medical treatments and others that were considered necessary, which Hamas doesn't provide. There was plenty more people every day coming in to work in Israel from Gaza until the 7th than were going the, the other way into Egypt. So if I go back to this question. Why do you say... There's an illegal occupation of Gaza. Why did you say that? Because there is. Why? Well, who Israel is occupying Israel is an it? occupying state. No, no. It, who, it is, is hang on. internationally is, recognized. No, 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 no. It's not, it's, no, no, it's I'm, not at all. I want to move that's on. That's your view. Hang on. That's your view. And okay, I have to okay, correct your view, view. Our views I, I differ. Have to correct. No, it doesn't. The facts, <laughs> our views might differ, but the facts are the facts, and I want to pick you up on something you just did. I'm you interviewing said, you. I know, but I, yes. don't th I think you're uninformed. No, no, no. So let me just, so let me, you are uninformed. <laughs> oh, because really? first of all, yes. you didn't say that Egypt is blockading Gaza. Secondly, you claim that I'm, Israel... I'm, I'm talking about so Israel here the now, and I want oh, to move... Well, it's I very want to convenient move on for this. you to mention Israel because oh. you've clearly got an animus here. But let me come on to the second <laughs> point. Let me come to the second point. As you well know, in 2005, 
Israeli troops ripped Jewish families from their home in the Gaza. That was hang after on, hang Palestinians on, had been ripped from their, their homes well, in I Gaza. I mean, how far do you, back do you want to okay. go? You can do no, the Hebron massacre of 1924 no, if you want. Absolutely. But let me, but, but, let me, but let's let me get finish. To, no, no, finish no, what I want to, no, to talk allow about me is to finish we're talking point. about... He, he, he can't contain himself because she's just so dead set against. Here, let, let, let's, let's continue. It's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. The, the, the action at the International Court of Justice, no, no, no. okay? But first of all, we before we go on to that, you've got to inform South Africa's your viewers. Actions there. Yes, but we've got to inform your viewers of the facts, and you just misled them. In 2005, <laughs> Israel, Israeli troops ripped Jewish, every Jewish family from their homes in Gaza and handed over all of Gaza, which was completely clear of Jews. That was after they two hand, Nakbas, hand, they, I think in 1948 and 1967, uh, when Palestinians want, were ripped you, from their homes no, that were that's, that, that's they were your, there. That's your I know, so let's specific agree, interpretation let's of the history. And yours is disagree. a very... No, no, no. But, but we can agree to disagree, but don't misinform your viewers. And Likewise. you can go back... Well, I'm not misinforming your viewers. I'm informing them because you're not. The point that I'm trying yes, to make, which Israel you keep moved away on, from Gaza, and Gaza has been point, sealed off the ever point since. you keep on trying to dis distract everyone from, is that Israel took every Jew from Gaza in 2005, handed it over to the Palestinians, who then voted in Hamas, and to the great detriment of the Palestinian people, they have been ruled by Hamas for the last 18 years. If you want to look to the source of the conflict, look to that. Fact. Okay, so how many illegal settlements are there in the West Bank that's also illegal under the United Nations, under international law? Those settlements on the West Bank are illegal. Which ones, and you, which I ones are illegal and in your in the view? Middle East, and every time there would be a peace agreement, settlements would pop up. And that's why we are where we are today. No, it's not. So let's no, try and not. move no, on. No, let's try it's and move on. It's not at all why we are where we are. We don't, hang on. We, we're what, not achieving think, anything here, so let's think, try and move on. No, no, no. Let's try and think, move on. No, it's very, no, because you just did it again. You just threw in another false fact. <laughs> we are not where we are today because of settlements in the West Bank that are disputed. That's not why Hamas broke out of Gaza on the 7th of October and massacred people in their homes. As that's we know, is that's uh, Hamas not because got of the Israeli West Bank, and you well to take know it. Yasser, you Yasser well Arafat. know that. And, and, um, you who well do you know that Hamas, monster you with, well you know that Hamas did not commit the massacre of the 7th of October because of settlements. They did it by their own admission because they want to massacre every Jew they can get their hands on, and Hamas has said they will do it again and again. So don't get onto the distraction of settlements. That is a second order priority. The first it's order. It's easy to fob those off, isn't it's it? It's easy those for you to try to distract people <laughs> okay. about it. But I'm no, no, saying no, no. don't okay, distract gonna, them we... from the crimes of Hamas. Don't do that. I'm not distracting. Well, you are. You no, just I, said that's I, why they did it. You I, said they I, did it because I of the settlements. And no, those crimes nobody... by Hamas were repugnant. I'm glad and you said that finally. I <laughs> Finally, uh, but what I'm saying—we've been here for no, some time with you what, going on about I'm settlements and everything is, else. So we've got an Could illegal occupying that? force. We've got a situation that is making—I mean, Hamas has grown. Ha has, Hamas has grown in popularity ever since this war on Gaza because you are, you are Israel is making people more and more increasingly militant. So what is happening at the moment? Israel is making not, people more militant. Is not working. Do you right. think the Hamas Let's is making back. people more militant Let's go or not? Back to the ICJ Do you think that Hamas statement. is making people more militant or not? Well, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a catch-22, isn't it? Oh, I it? see. And I mean, until this illegal occupation is broken, until right. the suffering of the Palestinians do you, is do you acknowledged... Think, and do you, do you think that Hamas are interested in a solution where there's any Jew in that region or not? I'm asking you the questions and well, I want to Well, I'd move love you to answer to, that one. Oh, no, we can, we can answer it. Let's just move well, on. Because, have a go, though. Okay. Um, so Have I a go. Do you think Hamas won a peaceful solution I'm with the Jews? I'm asking you the questions. We can discuss this afterwards. Oh, no, I'd love to do this one on air. On air. Do you think Hamas want to live beside the Jews, yes or no? Uh, they have recently said that they would be happy to live next to Jews, but oh. they want a two-state solution. A two-state oh. solution has been in the offing. Hamas has not said they want a two-state solution. They carried out a massacre on October the 7th of as many people as they could, stole a lot of hostages who you still also haven't referred to. There's more than 100 Jewish hostages still in Gaza. That's, Correct. That's a real kidnapping, and that's real occupation of somebody. And Hamas has okay, said they do, do it again and again. How do you feel when you see... Those children who've been shot in the back of the head. How do you feel? How do you feel when you see those children?
children the Jewish who are children suffering. The Jewish children or the Palestinian children? The Palestinian children. I feel the same on each of them. Okay. I think it's all a tragedy. Okay, good. And I think it it's is a all on, on both Hamas. Sides. I think so it's all on Hamas. On. They shouldn't have started a war. Let's try. There's consequences to starting a war. That is correct. Innocent people that die is a tragedy. Children that die are a tragedy, whether they are Israeli children, whether they are Palestinian children. However, the entirety of the blame goes on the jihadists, goes on Hamas.